Welcome to the fourth of nine videos in our course Pro Video Editing with an iPad or iPhone using LumaFusion. In the last video, you learned how the timeline works in LumaFusion. We discussed how tracks and the enhanced magnetic timeline work. We demonstrated transitions and markers with notes. In this video, we'll be going over all the essential tools you'll need and how to use them. Everybody's got to start somewhere, and that's why we've made a list, a shopping list of the nine essential things that every beginner filmmaker needs. It's really easy to get. All you have to do is click on the link in the card there or a link in the description, and you can get it today. So here we are again at the iOS homepage, and we're going to be opening up LumaFusion. We're going to get right to it and show you some of the most helpful and essential tools that you're going to need to operate within LumaFusion. So the very first one is if you don't like this layout, say you want your screen just to be set up differently to take advantage of whatever work you're doing, you can go down to the bottom screen and on the bottom right, if you press this little button here, it has a couple different layouts. And if I tap on just show you a couple different ones and it'll cycle through and whatever one that works best for you is the one you should use. And that might change depending on the type of work you're doing. So that's super helpful. Or if you want to just change a little bit of the space, maybe you want some more timeline or you want some more of your preview window, you can actually go right here in the very middle of the screen. You can go on the little upside down T and you can then go and change the size of all the different screens, which is super helpful. This next tool is a tool that well, likely you've used it a thousand times. You hopefully don't think about it every time you do it, but it's something that we really become accustomed to in digital editing, and that's the undo button. So if you want to undo something, so let's do something first, right? So I'm going to grab a clip here of this church, and I'm going to tell it I want it to be right between these two shots, and I'm going to do that. All right, so that's great. And you know, that works and stuff. But then I realized, you know what? I really don't, didn't like that. So I'm going to come up here to the top right and I'm going to press this little arrow. I do that. Shabam. Undone. If it's not the first tool you go looking for, it's surely one you're going to use often. All right. The next tool that I know I use because I really like to get in their macro and make sure that my edit is as good as it can be frame by frame is zoom. So first I can double tap in the timeline. And that'll zoom me in and it'll zoom me in one step. I can also touch and pinch and zoom in that way. So I'm actually pinching and spreading my fingers. And then if I do a triple tap, it'll take me all the way down to the frame level. And you'll notice that the cursor turns white when you're in single frame view level. So let's tap three times, one, two, three, and there you are. And you can see now the cursor is white. So you know that you're at frame level. Now, if I triple tap out of that, it just takes me to wherever I was last. So now let's go over how to add a clip. Real easy to do, a couple different ways to do it. The first is just a quick double tap. So I'm gonna double tap on this Arizona Lake Powell Boat Tour 02, and it goes right there, right at the end of where my edit was. Now I'm gonna undo that, because there's also other ways. I can tap and hold, and that's a long tap, and now I can just drag it down and bring it into my timeline. And lastly, there is, once I bring up the clip here on the preview window, I can press the button here, right next to the undo button and it will place the clip. You can also do that by bringing it up in the preview window, holding and then placing just like as if it was coming from your files. Now, more than just undoing, you might just want to throw away a clip and not have it there. So that's real easy. You just want to make sure you're highlighted on the clip you want to get rid of. There's a garbage can right here at the bottom and I tap on it and it gets rid of the clip that was highlighted. Now I'm going to undo that to show you there's another way too. If I just tap and hold and then I throw it off the frame, it'll also get rid of it and throw it away. Now let's move on to how to cut and split clips. Now, if you have an edit and say you don't want this clip to be as long as it is and you want to cut it, you could trim it, right? But maybe you just want to cut it and split it. So that's real easy. All you do is go to the point where you want to cut it and go down to the scissors down here in the bottom of the screen and tap on that. And now you have two clips. That's real easy, right? So I'm gonna undo that. Now, the next thing is I wanna clone this because I wanna show you the, how to split all clips. So what I'm gonna do is go to the beginning of this clip and then I'm going to click here on these two pages with the plus over here on the bottom left of the screen and boom, it clones your clip and now you have two of those if you need to do something with them. Maybe you're gonna be having one affected differently than the other. So now that we have two clips there, we can go over here and if we go to this top one and we press cut, oh, it only cuts the top one. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's undo that. 
So what are we doing wrong? Well, it's just as easy as a double tap. If I double tap on the scissors, it now cuts them both. Now I'm gonna undo all of that, go back here to just having these two clips here. Now there's a few edit modes we wanna go over here. The first is insert. Now the insert could be done a few different ways. The first thing could be done is if you have a clip and you have it trimmed up to where you want in the preview window, you can just press the button right next to the undo button and it'll insert that clip as you have marked it with in and out points and it'll go right there in place. Let's undo that. The other way I could do it is I could double tap the clip up in the file menu. When I double click on it, it does the same thing. Or I can click and grab and bring it down to put it between the two clips like that. Now let's undo that. Now to do something very similar to insert, you can do overwrite. So say I wanna put this same clip of the church into this shot here. I can tap on the same insert button, but hold, and I can see here it'll do overwrite. And if I do overwrite, it now overwrites and writes over the last clip. I can also tap on it and say place on secondary, and then it'll put it right there on top. Now let's undo that. Now let me show you how to link clips. You'll see if I press the clip link here, now there's a little line right there at the beginning of the timeline showing you that these are together. And now if I move them, they will move together and stay in time with each other. So say you have a voiceover or what have you that needed to stay together, you would be able to do that. Now let's discuss timeline multi-select. So say you have a couple clips that you wanna move at once, but you don't wanna link them. You just need to grab them all at once to move them. Maybe you're moving a sequence from one place to another. And what you wanna do is you come down here right next to the scissors, there's a little square with a check in it. And if I click on that, it now brings up the ability to click on multiple clips at once. And you see how that highlight just changed. It all now is connected. And if I wanna move those, they'll move together. Now, if I click uncheck, they're not gonna be connected anymore. If I press check again, I'm gonna click these two clips here, and now I can move them together. Lastly, you can use the clipboard to copy and paste between your timeline, anywhere in your timeline. You could also use it to go between projects, and it's just a simple copy and paste. So say I want to copy and paste these two shots. I can just come down here to the clipboard, which is down at the bottom, very center of the screen. I click on that, and you see my options right here. So I have nothing already ready in the clipboard, so I can copy it. I can cut this if I wanted to, take it out, placed it somewhere else if I wanted to. Or in this case, I'm gonna bring those two clips into another project. So I'm gonna click here in the corner to bring up my project window, and I have my next masterpiece already here. So that brings in, I'm gonna open that up, and you can see I now have this cut here, and say I want to, at the very beginning, paste in those shots of the drone. So I can go down to the clipboard, and press the button paste, and there I have it. Now those two clips just went from my other project into this project by simply putting it in the clipboard and copying and pasting it. In the next video, we'll familiarize you with the clip editor. We'll also go over the clip editor's different parameters. Additionally, we'll talk about accessing the clip editor and using it. Plus, we'll cover the LumaFusion preview function. Take this information and challenge yourself to use it today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to get your shopping list of the nine essential things every filmmaker needs, link in the card or in the description.